welcome to bitunet code channel uh, guys in today's session we'll see how we can uh, configure uh, nssa and a uh, totally nssa in ospf domain right here we have uh, configured eigrp on r1 and we'll be using r2 as asbr that is autonomous system border router r2 uh, will be using uh, eigrp as well as well as ospf on the other side so we have uh, two areas in ospf domain area one and area zero so the uh, ip address uh, configuration here you can see eigrp uh, will have 12 network ospf area one will have 23 network and ospf area will have uh, 34 network right uh, i have already configured uh, eigrp and ospf uh, on the routers and a redistribution has been done on r2 that is the asbr so now we have end-to-end -end, uh, routes available let's see show ip route okay all the routes are uh, coming end-to-end uh, -end connectivity is there because a re redistribution has been done show ip route we can see that inter area routes are coming okay and uh, show ip route okay here also we can see that inter external routes are coming uh, because uh, e2 is the eigrp uh, route external to ospf and on r4 also uh, all the routes are coming inter area routes as well as external to ospf routes that is e2 so now we'll be uh, configuring this area one as a nssa uh, area so that it generates the uh, lsa7 and uh, 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 lsa7 that will uh, be not be uh, transferred to o ospf area uh, zero right uh, nss stands for not so stubby area so let's see how we can configure nss area so we'll have to uh, configure lsa uh, lsa 7 nssa on r2 as well as on r3 so let's configure it on first r2 uh, commands are very simple uh, we'll go into ospf2 and area 1 let me show you the details uh, here uh, if we do area one we will see the option nssa specify a nssa area which area we want to configure as not so stubby area so we want to configure not so stubby area as area one okay uh, we can see that adjacency reset towards 34 uh, this right so we will be configuring same command on uh, ospf uh, 3 on r3 and area 1 nsc and right now let's see what a change has uh, happened on uh, uh, these uh, uh, routers show ip route <coughs> okay uh, it will take some time let's wait for a while here okay here we can see that uh, external uh, routes are coming uh, now with the n2 code n2 is a ospf nssa external type uh, not so stubby area external type uh, 2 right so uh, this is how we uh, configure nssa uh, on uh, any area right but if we go to r4 we will uh, get the routes as uh, not as uh, n2 but as e2 because uh, let's say 7 are allowed in only uh, area 1 they are not allowed in other areas of uh, ospf so area border router that is r3 it will uh, convert let's say 7 into let's say 5 so that's why in uh, uh, ospf area 0 on r4 we are seeing that n2 routes that are external to uh, ospf right and uh, uh, nssa area from r3 they are coming as e2 routes so here lsa7 is converted to lsa5 by abr r3 right so if we want to make uh, this area as a uh, uh, totally not so stubby area we'll have to configure only no summary option so area one as essay so let's uh, remove this command first of all ospf3 
area one now we have uh, removed this command now uh, we can see that uh, neighborship is uh, reset so here we, we can use uh, no summary so uh, this will uh, do not uh, send uh, summary lsa route this means that lsa 3 will also not be allowed in uh, area 1 right area 1 nssa no summary so now uh, this area is uh, totally not so, so stubby so let's see the let's give it some time show ip route we can see that uh, uh, this is uh, up now and uh, let me show you show how we can check the show ip database nssa ip ospf database nssa external <coughs> Here we can see that uh, LSA 7 is being generated and injected in area 1, right? We can see that uh, LSA uh, 7 have been generated by R2 and they are injected in area 1. But if we go to R4, right? Show IP OSPF database, we will we should not see any LSA 7 in on R4 because uh, they are uh, converted to LSA 5 by uh, R3 that is a area border router so guys this was the short video on how we can configure uh, NSSA and totally NSSA in OSPF domain thank you for watching this video